Welcome to this edition of Burn Tech University presented by United States Stove Company. In today's video we will show you how to install a 4840 wall mount pellet stove. Always refer to your owner's manual. This video is for informational purposes only. If you are unsure about replacing any of the components on this stove, we recommend having a qualified stove technician or certified electrician do this for you. The tools needed for today's project are a stud finder, pencil, tape measure, half inch installer bit, level, ratchet and socket set, impact driver, hammer and one medium nail, jigsaw with tight radius blades, power drill and a 532nds drill bit, safety goggles, and a crowbar. To get this project started, unbox and uncrate your stove. You will need to use a crowbar to get it out of the pallet. Then remove the plastic cover. Before you move your stove, determine how high you want it to sit on your wall. Please note this stove must be a minimum of 24 inches above the exterior ground, but you need to refer to your owner's manual for all other clearances. Next, locate the studs in your exterior wall with a stud finder and mark at the predetermined height. Now, at the wall height determined, hang the mounting bracket and place a nail through the center triangular shaped hole. This will hold it in place while you mark the proper holes. Please make sure the plate is flush against the wall and then level. Once that is ready, use a pencil to mark the four pilot hole locations and the exhaust pipe hole. Then, drill the four pilot holes to a depth of 3 inches using a 5.32 diameter drill bit. Now, using your level and tape measure, find the center to the circle for the exhaust pipe hole. Then, center the interior wall thimble that comes in your vent kit using the measurements you just found and trace the outside of it. Using your power drill and a half inch installer bit, drill the center of your exhaust pipe circle until you've completely drilled through both the interior and exterior walls. Once that is complete and you've put on your safety goggles, cut out the exhaust pipe circle using your jigsaw. Now, repeat the process on the exterior wall, making sure to use the exterior wall thimble to trace the circle. Once you have a hole going from the interior to the exterior of your home, insert the wall thimble in the interior wall of your home. Level the thimble, and then, either using your power drill or impact driver, secure it to the wall using four of the screws that come with the vent kit. Now, realign the wall mount with the pilot holes in the exhaust through hole you previously cut out. Make sure it is level and insert the four quarter inch by two inch lag bolts with washers. Tighten the lag bolts until the wall mounting bracket is pulled firmly against the wall. Once you have the mounting bracket attached to the wall, go to the back of your stove and take off the cover plate around the exhaust. Once the cover plate is off, attach the transition piece that comes in your vent kit. Please note, these eight screws are self-tapping and four of the holes are not pre-drilled. Then put the cover plate back on. You can now lift your stove and attach it to the wall. Because of the size and the weight of this stove, it will take two people to properly lift and attach to the wall. 
You will need to tilt the top towards the wall and lower the heating unit onto the wall mount, making sure that the hooks on the top of the stove slide over the top of the wall plate. Once the unit is securely hanging on the wall mounting bracket, there are two 7 16 inch head bolts on the bottom of the bracket that need to be tightened down to lock the unit to the bracket. Now, on the exterior wall, attach the pipe to the transition piece on your stove. Push it in until the locking lugs are covered. And then twist it about an eighth of a turn until it locks into place. Then, attach the exterior wall thimble by leveling it and then mounting it with four screws. Once your exterior wall thimble is in place, slide the adjustable horizontal square cap on the pipe. This cap must be a minimum of 6 inches from the house and 24 inches from the ground. Please note the outer wall thimble needs to be caulked. Then drill three self-tapping screws into the pipe to secure it into place. You have now finished installing the 4840 wall mount pellet stove. Please plug your stove in and check for proper operation. Once again, this video is for informational purposes only. We strongly recommend that a qualified stove technician or a certified electrician do this for you. Thank you for watching this edition of Burn Tech University. Should you have any questions about this project or any other, please contact us at 1-800-750-2723 or visit usstove.com. Thank you for watching Burn Tech University.